do not love my hands. Okay, judge me all you want for my high waters, but guess what? They are like giving me a giant big old hug, so I can't. Okay, so wanna get your attention a little bit. Um, I love this song because it's all about like empowerment. What is this going on? Okay, so every day while I'm doing my workout, I listen to personal development. And why are my glasses so crooked? Oh, jeez. Um, and here's the thing. I listen to Dr. Jen Berman, and she is, like, redonkulously intelligent. And she always talks about how your childhood plays a factor in your life as an adult. And we all know that, but we don't know to the extent... I'm going to put some clothes on. We don't know to the extent of what's that's happening. So here's the thing. She talks a lot about how... If you had a lot of dysfunction or pain or abandonment or grew up with an alcoholic father or an alcoholic mom or someone who was neglectful and not like filling up your love cup and like rosy rosy, which who had the perfect childhood? Nobody. Who grew up in the Brady Bunch? The Bradys did and that's it. Who grew up with Walt and um, or Walt? The Beavers. Walt, uh, Beaver did. That's it. Okay, so here's the thing. When you're a child, you're very egocentric. So you take in, if your mom is going through something and let's say she's suffering from depression or she's stressed at work or they don't have any money, you're a child and you're very egocentric. So you take on their problems to mean something about yourself. So a mom who's, I'm just using this as an example, a mom who's stressed out about money at work, a stressful relationship, a cheating husband, whatever it is, feeling a lot of stress, so she's distracted and over here. You as a child take that as, I'm not lovable, I'm not worthy, they don't love me, if only I could do A, B, or C, then I'd be worthy and lovable. Guess what? In that moment, it has nothing to do with you, but you're a child and you have no idea how to process that. So what we do, this is so profound, it's kind of heavy. So what we do is we bring that pain that has nothing to do with us. That's why I said walking away a winner, because I want you to walk away from the pain of your childhood. What we do is we bring all those feelings of, of not feeling worthy as a child, and we bring them into our adult life. Then we seek out relationships. This is profound, too. Your subconscious does not know the difference between past, present, and future. So you have this hole. You might try to fill it with shopping, with addiction, with gambling, with um, drinking, with pot. Whatever it is, is your vice. You're trying to fill it. You're trying food. Oh, food, food, food. Fill the hole, fill the hole, fill the hole. It doesn't ever get filled because what your, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between past, present, and future. So what you do as an adult is you seek out relationships that are very similar to that because... <laughs> It's probably hard to keep me serious. Very similar to that because it feels safe and it feels normal. Even though it was so painful, your body is saying, I'm going to seek out a relationship like that. It could be with your friends, your spouse, your significant other. And I'm going to repair that relationship I had as a child. And you're trying your, your, to have a reparative experience to fill that hole. And you say to yourself, I know my mom didn't love me, or my dad didn't love me, or my stepfather, or my stepmother. I know I wasn't worthy in their eyes, but I'm going to seek this person out that's very similar to them, and I'm going to make them love me, make me feel self-worthy, all those things, because then you're going to try to repair the pain of that hole. And so you, you seek out people similar, and you're like, why is the pattern happening? Why is the pattern happening? The pattern happens because you're trying to recreate your childhood and say, well, if they didn't love me, that's their problem, but this person's going to. And so I want you to be aware of that. Don't psychoanalyze your husband or your spouse or sitting of another. Think about your childhood, the pain you have from it, and what you're bringing into your relationship now. And you can't put the burden of having that reparative experience on someone else. It has to come within. So it's hard to have a blanket statement like do A, B, and C, but whatever that is, you need to figure out how to fill that hole. And it is not with someone else. It's not with shopping. It's not with addiction. It's not with gambling. It's not with eating. It will never fill the hole. What happens is you try to fill it with that and it feels so good in the moment. Like, 
oh, these brownies are just filling. I'm so comforted by this brownie right now. And then an hour later, guilt, build yourself up, beat yourself up, beat yourself up. And so it's this vicious cycle. And you have to be aware of it that your, your subconscious doesn't know the difference, but you know the difference. And so I want you to be aware and walk away from that pain. If it's a lot of dysfunction and, and a lot of reparative experiences, it's okay to see a counselor to deal with it and walk through the pain instead of trying to stuff it and fill it with other things. I hope I explained that well. I've been listening to Dr. Jen forever and she has taught me so much. She's on Sirius XM on Oprah Radio and I listen to her on demand every day during my workouts and every single time I learn things about my relationships, why I chose past relationships, why I'm with David, what do I put on David, what emotional burden that I have within myself do I put on David based on things that I've experienced. So I hope this helps. I'm sorry about my hair, I'm sorry about the, um, the dancing, and I'm, I'm not sorry about the, the, the pants. I love these pants and I love how high they are and I feel like I'm just being hugged every day. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you for dropping the walls, being vulnerable, because being vulnerable means you're going to put your wall down and it's okay if you get hurt and you can trust the person that you're with. It's okay to hurt you because you love yourself enough that you're going to be okay. You're not going to burn. You're not going to go to the hospital. You will be okay because you are strong on the inside and you're walking away a winner from the pain of your past. Love you.